Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in New York City in my studio with Marissa. And we're gonna do a little bit of a different format this time. So let me know below in the captions, captions, comments, uh, if you like it, because we're gonna try something different. We're actually gonna do this shoot more or less live, or live. Um, and what I wanted to do is create what is sometimes referred to as north light, which is a lot of photographers want to use south light, right? Like my studio is actually south light. You have a lot of sun coming in and really contrasty and directional light, lots of light. But painters and, and some sculptors like what's called north light, which is actually the sky, basically the light from the other side. So if I had my windows on the north side of the building, it's much less light, but it's much flatter and much kind of more open light. So the way we create that kind of a feel is usually by bouncing light. So I'm going to use my scrim gym. And uh, it's a six foot scrim gym, I'm gonna bounce it and that's gonna take me a few seconds to set up. So what are we gonna do, we're gonna mime. Marissa's gonna mime something uh, to keep you entertained while I do that. So uh, you're in a box. <laughs> okay. So this is a, basically a six foot scrim gym. I've already built the frame. This is just a uh, fabric here. Okay, the box is filling up with water. Slowly, of course. Oh, I'm going really slow here. So this is uh, my silver, I, this is silver and white, but I think I might use the silver side because it'll make the light a little bit less even, which I kind of like. If you want to go with a, probably more of a pure north light, you might want to use a white side. So we'll play around with the lit though. It's pretty easy to change. So essentially this is just a six foot square frame. Uh, a lot of companies make these, this happens to be a scrim gym. And the reason why I like Scrim Gym is because it's kind of modular and I can build this into several different sizes if I want, which is why I like to keep it in my kit. Um, some of the other ones we use it from like Shamira and Last Light are great. They're just usually fixed sizes, so you got to kind of pick your size ahead of time before you get into the system. You pick the one you want, basically. All right, so, got six foot square. Did you get out of the box? You're good? Nice. All right. You guys can let me know how she did because I wasn't really watching. So I've got a stand here. You can go over there by the wall so I don't bump into you. Yeah. So yeah, you can. No, I got it. Thank you, though. You're very sweet. Um, see? Helpful model. We have to like that. Actually, you can help me. Okay. Why not? So we're going to pick this up. It's really heavy, right? Walk this way. I want to put it on that clamp. All right. So we're basically going to clamp this in. See it? It's a little taller. Okay, it's a little bit tall, so I'm going to lean it forward. Told you this was live. Da -da -da. Good thing she's here to help. See, I, at first I was like, no, I don't need any help. But you know what? Always take help when you can, right? Help and sandwiches. Those are two things you never say no to. Okay, so I'll bring this up. Lift, 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 lift. Okay, so you can do this a lot of different ways. Another way to do this is actually to... Um, to use like a, a, a foam core card, like a, which also works pretty well. Now, whenever you put any weight on a stand like this, you want to make sure that your long leg is out under the weight. So I will do that. Am I completely blocking the camera now? Probably, but that's okay. All right, I'm coming forward. I'm trying not to knock her over. Okay, you're gonna maybe, yeah, maybe be like at that X. There we go. So I'm only gonna use one light source here. So I want to, Give it a decent distance from her so that it will actually be able to spread out and light the background as well. I'm going to get kind of a grayish background. If I wanted to get a white background, I'd have to either move them both further from the wall or possibly light the background separately. We actually did a video on that, so if you want to check out that video, that's number something. I don't know the numbers of the videos. Um, I'm just going to use one light for this. should be fine. Put it on a C-stand. So I've got a Profoto B1X here. And again, this is going to be a bounced light source, right? I'm just going to bounce the light off the scrim gym, essentially creating the reflected light, which is the kind of north light feel. I'm going to put it like right here. The goal here is to make it relatively even. And while you probably don't see me use it often, this does have a modeling light, so I can actually turn it on so I can see what I'm getting. This looks pretty good. Now, there's a decent amount of light um, here in the studio, so we're going to have to overcome that as well, which I'll deal with in a second. All right, that's pretty good so far, I think. All right, so I've got my camera. 
This is a the Canon D1X. I'm probably gonna use my 85 millimeter. I am gonna probably buy on a tripod because I like to shoot on a tripod. I think I'm gonna shoot vertically. Cool. So what we might end up having to do here, just for space reasons, I might end up booming the the light on the C stand, we'll see. That's probably pretty good. I'm gonna go like waist up ish. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty good. Uh, let me take a look. Now, first thing I wanna do is establish an exposure that the room is dark when I'm not using a flash. So I'm in manual right now, but before I do anything, let me plug my tether in so you guys can see. I am uh, using Capture One. So this will be, um, so allow you guys to see what I got going on which means that I can't shoot any bad pictures because I'm gonna see every single one, Marissa, so we gotta shoot, every single one has to be perfect. So, all right, so no pressure. All right, so I'm looking over here, I just wanted to check my settings. I am at uh, 5.6, I'm at 250th of a second, I'm daylight white balance, I'm 100 ISO. So that's probably gonna be pretty decent. Let me take a shot and see what I get. I wanna get either a black frame or pretty close to a black frame when no flash goes off. So let me focus on her, because it's important to be in focus during your black frame. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Mm. Checking it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I can see her a little bit. Like, if I go into my uh, exposure slider here, you see her start to come back there at almost about one stop. Since I am using a flash, which is daylight, and we're shooting into the daylight, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm a little concerned with only 500 watt seconds that I might not be able to get much more than five, six out of this flash. So let me just see first. So I'm in 1A radio-wise, and I have the Profoto controller here. All right, test, perfect. All right, I'm in TTL, which, because I got a white wall and the way I'm shooting is probably not gonna give me a perfect exposure, but it'll give me a place to start. Let's see. Oh, not, not terrible, actually. Oh, actually, that's... By the way, the trick to uh, getting a t good TTL exposure is to basically say, TTL is not gonna work. And then once you say that, it always works every single time. So I'm actually at 8.1 in the light, so I do have more power. So I think I am gonna go to F8 just to kill all that daylight. All right, let's just see. Yep, and you notice because I'm in TTL, it just adjusted for me automatically. Let's see, all right, that's good. Um, I think I'm gonna play around. We were doing this the other day. I was, the Mercer actually, uh, has a pretty decent, uh, surprisingly with the silver, it's actually a little more contrast than I thought it was gonna be, but I think it's going to look good um, in black and white. So I'm just gonna come over here and look at my styles. I'm gonna capture one right now. Um, just to get a feel of what it's gonna look like, I'm probably gonna go with like a black and white style. Like one of these, I think portrait is what I like. Oh boy, oh, all right, I think I'll go from grain one, okay. This way at least, I mean, I'm shooting raw obviously, so I can come back if I want to, but this gives me an idea of what it's gonna look like. Um, it's pretty flat. I think I'm gonna back it up a smidge. And let's just see. I'm gonna come down a tiny bit on the tripod. That looks perfect. Extend your chin out like a chicken. Good. Perfecto. Good. Nice, and you see because I have Capture One set up in such a way they come up black and white just like I wanna do it each time. This is really useful when you have a client, you know, and you, and you tell them you want it to be black and white um, or whatever, you can just have it pop up. We can also even have it crop uh, if we wanted to, to a certain crop. I think I might actually back up a little, get a little more of your body since you have that Wonder Woman stance going on. Actually, you can back up a smidge. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Good, I got the C, didn't come a little bit this way. Good, I am fighting that C stand slightly, but I think I'll be all right. That's perfect. Lower my tripod. She's getting ready to fight evil. Right. Or, or, or good, you never know. Chin out a little bit right there. Yeah, there we go. Do we like that better or worse? Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty nice actually. It is actually a smidge dark now, and I don't know if that's because I've tapped all the power in the light. Nope, I have a little bit more. So I'm going to tell TTL, to, now she's closer to the white wall. So it's 
getting a little confused, so I think I'm gonna tell TTL to give me, I'm gonna use the uh, exposure, flash exposure compensation to give me a little bit more light. Actually, I'm gonna throw it on manual so it doesn't change around, and then I'm just gonna turn the light up two tenths of a stop. Typically with pro photo stuff, with this system, I usually like to get close to where I wanna be, and then from there, uh, adjust in manual, that way I know it's always gonna stay the same. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's pretty nice, now we'll just work on a pose a little bit. Okay, so you look good. Go ahead and turn slightly to the side. This yep, there you go. And then turn, yep, turn your shoulders back towards me. Yep, there you go, that's it, that's it. Pushing it, chin out like a chicken. Hard, 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 good, 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 here we go. That's nice, I'm gonna get a little less space at the top. Good, 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 that's perfect. Strong, 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 strong. Hold, focusing, good, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, I like those eyes. Oh, I went too fast, oh. Good, that beep, by the way, is telling me I went too fast. Now, if, you, if you're in a situation where uh, you're gonna shoot fast, it's nice to have the beep turn on in your light, which I do. I wasn't paying attention. See, she, she's squinting at me there. She's like, who are you looking at? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's the squinter. All right, and I think just for the heck of it, I want to do a closer shot, because we can. So come closer to me. Now the closer she is to me, the darker the background will be relatively. So I want to, this will give her a little bit more separation. And again, I'm gonna throw it back in TTL, because she's closer to the light, so I want to adjust my exposure again. This is actually one of the advantages of TTL, is that it, it's basically just a quick way to re-meter when the subject's moving. Go ahead and turn sideways with your body. That's it, perfect. Give me that Marissa, the patented Marissa. <laughs> good, 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 chin out a little bit, right there. Hold on, refocusing. Wow, okay, hold on. That looks pretty good, let me just quickly check. It's always good to put your computer as far away from you as possible, that way you get good exercise walking back and forth. All right, one more with the the chin really out, and I think I'm gonna go back to color actually because your eyes are really exploding right now. I know I said one more, but you know I was lying. One more always means five more in photography talk, right? Uh, and again, if I wanna go back, because I am raw, so I can easily go back here and take the style off. You just go here, clear, and now we've got her back in color so I can see what it looks like. And I can even do like a little there's all kinds of fun stuff in here, which I never use, but um, if uh, you can get uh, Capture One as a, a free trial, or you used to be able to anyways, so it's worth kind of messing with because it's got some fun stuff. Like here's skin effects. Like if she had terrible skin, I could be like, skin effects, but I never use that. All right, so let's just, we'll just use black and white, get back where we want to be. And again, this is going to be Something that we're going to use, you know, this is our baseline. So one final shot and then we'll wrap it up. That's perfect. There we go. Make sure I'm gonna get a little bit more. Okay, good. Bring your shoulders back a tiny bit, right there. Back like this. Yeah, there we go. Nice, focusing. Oh, that was weird, hold on one more. There we go. It did like a weird focus thing for me. Okay, cool, so, all right, I can't stop shooting it because it looks good. Let me shoot one more before the person will tell me to stop. <laughs> when you get a good shot, you can always have to go for it. I want to shoot one horizontal because I'm going to get to horizontal shots now. Okay, and then, still here? Yep, you're perfect, just like that. Yeah, I like a good horizontal shot. So, all right, cool, so that's basically Northern or North light or Northern style light, it's much flatter. Now, using the white side of this would, all right, I'm gonna switch it to white, help me. Yeah, you go. Actually, what we're gonna do is, let's just be, we'll be smart about it. Put your, put, hold on to it, I'm just gonna loosen it, it's gonna come down. Good, low, 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 stop. I'm just gonna go like this. I think, I think we can do this. Is this, this is, everybody's watching right now going, that's not gonna work, Daniel, because it's there, right, that's not, okay. All right, you got it? Yes. Pull it out, go like this. That's the sprinkler, not a big problem. We'll just, you know, we, the sprinkler, 
<laughs> if the sprinkler gets hit, then we'll do that. That'll be the end of this video. That works for sure. Get back in there. This is why you need strong models. So I'm switching to the white, which I just want to see what the difference will be, which should just be slightly less contrasty. Push up a little bit more. There we go, right there. Perfect. That should be good. Can I let go? Yep, you can let go. You can go back to your spot. Let's get the last shots before we wrap. I apparently, I made it a little flatter too, somehow. But that'll be fine. And again, I'm in TTL. Yeah, that's fine. Did you just do a hair flip and I wasn't even ready for it? You were ready. I was not ready for that hair flip. Yeah, you did need to refresh it. Good call. All right. By the way, if this is like anything else I ever do in my life, the last shot is going to be better than the whole thing. We probably should have just done this in the first place. All right, so now we're down to the white. Yep, and of course it's better. Silver, white. See the difference? Silver's got a little more shadow, a little more specularity under the chin. But still nice. Both of them are good. Let's just shoot a couple of white ones and then we'll wrap because I think we're coming up on our... Good, good, good. Focusing. Stay horizontal because I feel like it. Chin out, chin out, chin out, chin out. Good, right there, right there, right there. Good, one, one more. Good, 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 good. Nice. Cool. Let's see if I can do this without tripping over the cord. Perfect. All right, fantastic. So, there she is giving me attitude. All right, so that's kind of a north light. Um, thanks for watching. So be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV. And also, if you are a subscriber, because you're watching this anyways, make sure that you have alerts turned on because we're doing a lot more live stuff. And when we go live, it just pops up and lets you know. So you can actually communicate while we're doing these, which I think is really nice because you guys can tell me kind of what you like and what you don't like. Let me know also about the, this uh, format, if you like this longer format where I kind of build it up from scratch. Uh, let me know that or if you don't like it. Also, I'm going to throw some of these full size up on my Facebook, so if you guys want to see bigger files, so I know sometimes it's hard to see in the video. Um, Daniel, a photographer, you can check that out. And I'll see you next time on set.